This is our first time showing overseas and much less Paris Fashion Week. It was a really big deal and I think going into it, no one was quite sure what to expect. Preparing for Paris was a little bit different because we were doing remotely from New York, trying to get as much as we could possible. So get the venue and make sure we had a word spread for the models so we could do the casting. Even though it was a much smaller show compared to the New York show, it's still a lot of work and it's harder because you're not there. Solo flew into Paris and we put the whole show together very quickly. We had to scout models one day, set up the show uh, the day of, and then we had our show the next day. So the entire process probably took about four days. So it was really, really fast. We did it in this really amazing townhouse in Paris. When we got there, there were no racks. So we really had to scramble. We found a place that had some racks down the street. So everybody, one by one, walked down the street in Paris and grabbed a rack. So you could see this whole line of all the flying solo designers just rolling racks down the street, just bringing them into the venue. It was really funny. When I got there, it was half crazy because, you know, you have all the models running around and, of course, not everything's ready until last minute. But I think, although it was crazy, it was the normal crazy that we always deal with. And since I had the team there, it wasn't... For me, I just got there to hug everybody and to know that the clothing was okay. Although I did burn one of my jackets with a steamer, so... <laughs> choice we don't hire production company because we want all the designers to be involved in the whole process of the show so they understand what it takes much about flying solo is a learning experience not just how to sell your stuff learning how to showcase your stuff learning how to prepare for a show even if you hire someone to do it at least you know what it takes to do it one of the designers decide they don't want to do this because it's not their job. But then we have designers like Gustavo Moscoso. Him and my husband actually went around the room and they start serving champagne to the guests. Since in Flying Solo we're all doing everything, you know, and uh, we're part of a big team and we have one north. So I went there and served champagne, which I love because somehow, you know, when people see that we are the ones working and everything, they probably will get more engaged of the concept of flying solo. So, and no harm done, I did deliver my champagne and, and everybody was uh, happy. Serving champagne helped the guests to get comfortable because in Paris, I apparently, and this is something that we learned, there are not a lot of presentations. People are much more familiar with the runway show and we decided to do a presentation style, which was kind of a hybrid between runway and presentation. We start explaining to them how the show was going to go about and then things went smoothly. 